Hello everyone, I'm Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can create user in using class based view, right? You, for, uh, till now, we were using function based view for creating the user. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can create user using class based view. So first of all, I will go to my browser and uh, my server is already up and running. Okay. So I go to browser, create new tab. And I will go to admin. I will log in with my admin. And I will just open this user tab. Now here, what I will do is first I will start creating class for this sign up. So first I will just comment this class. Now I will create class over here. And I will copy this sign up and paste it. And I will just write generics dot create view okay and uh, i have already explained in my previous video what is this create view okay uh, we already have created all the class based view in previous video for main application for the blog home detail page and contact us page okay so same thing we are going to do with the sign up so we have create we have uh, inherited this generics dot create view. Now here I will pass my form class. So f for form class equals to the sign up form. Okay. Then I will pass my template name. So name is equals to the path to the template. So I will just copy and paste that path over here. Now. I will pass success URL success underscore URL will be lazy so I mean lazy means reverse lazy and I will now redirect that user to login so login right save this now go to urls.py file let me see it's logged in so i'll just log in. copy that and paste it over here log in okay now here in your file you need to add dot s view save this come over here refresh i will just log out this admin user okay now i go to sign up okay now i will create the user Smith the tail and I will say Smith 21 and I will say Smith at the rate gmail.com I will say yes, yes. okay now I'll click on create user okay you come over here refresh again I will need to pass my admin user id password so now if you will see then you can see, we can see that uh, we have got smith 21 so our user has been created now i will log in that smith user so smith 21 and uh, it's a password um, it's giving me csrf token why let me see i will go to templates authors login yeah it's perfect reload again i will say smith 21 then i will write i will just log out this user from here login okay we have logged in previously it gave us error because the admin user was already logged in and we were trying to log in the another user okay so it's now perfectly running now we will go for the login button now we will create for we now we will create class for login so again i will go to authors app use.py now here i will comment 
this login function code now you create class for the same name login and i will now import the generic view generic view because we don't have any particular uh, view for this uh, uh, authentication like we have the view for we have create view for entering any data in our database we have list view to list out the data in any particular page but we don't have any view for logging in so we need to define our own method in this class so we will first try to allocate the form so form underscore class will be the login form okay which is over here then i will give my template name so template underscore name which will be this i will just copy from that function code okay and uh, i know you are going to repeat the same code again and i the only purpose i am repeating this because i want to teach you guys what is the difference between class based view and function based view and how much powerful this class based view are and this is not hard to understand also they are very easy in comparison to this function based view but uh, yeah it was essential to learn both views okay so i am teaching you this again and from another uh, from further videos we will use class based view only if you are creating any new classes okay so this much has been done so here i will give a defined method for get so def get now remember you need to pass only get if you are passing if you want to allow the user to uh, request get method okay so here i will say self comma request now i will say form is equals to self dot form class okay and i will return the user okay so i will return the render render request comma self dot template name okay and here i will pass the form form so here i'll pass form in form of dictionary so i have done double curly brackets so it will be form and form okay now here it will allow only get method now if you want to allow post method it will be post and why we need to allow post method because our user will pass whole data in post form so you can see this method is post right so we will only accept those data if the form type is post otherwise we will not allow and if user is having get request then only then that user can only just see the form so if we want to if we want to make the form visible we need to allow get request otherwise that user will not able to access the page without post request so we need to define get method if you want to make our form visible in our website so we are using this get and when you are creating get method make sure you use only get not other name otherwise it will not accept right and for post we need to use post only then and then also it will not allow us to access any type of the uh, data so here for uh, one thing i can do for post i'll just remove this and i will copy this code because all the code is going to be same okay and i will just uncomment all the code and instead of login i will just write post and here i will write self comma and i will indent this code good 
Hmm. Okay. Now I think it should work. And it's not login form. I write form. Save this. Come to login. I will write form only. Now I will save all these things. Okay. We need to go to URS.py. And here in login, we will just save as view. Save this. Our error should be removed. Yeah, it has been removed. Come over here, refresh, go to login. Now, if I will add any credential here, so I will say Smith 21 only. 21. Right, yes, yes. Enter. Okay, we are able to log in. So, yeah, this is it for today's video, guys. So, in next video, we are going to work on another classes which is uh, logout okay and uh, uh, profile so we are going to see how we can log out using class based view and then we will move further so if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you